Welcome to Outdoor Madness, everyone. I am Kerry Clark. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. Well, all right, this is it. This is another brand new 2022 Kawasaki Mule. Now, this is one I've been trying to get for quite some time. Took a while, but we finally got it. This is a Mule Pro FXR. So now, out of all the Kawasaki Mule Pro FX models, this is the most sportiest and should be the most trail worthy. The reason why I say the most trail worthy is because we haven't taken it out on the trail yet. Because we like to do a walk around first. Let's go over the specs right now, all right? So, we're gonna compare this with the Mule Pro FXLE. That's the last model. Remember the red model that we tested? We really did a good job on that. So we're gonna compare that model to this one because they're both three-seaters, but there's some differences. So here's the difference. On the Pro FXLE, the ground clearance on that unit, 10.4 in 10.4 inches. On this one right here, which is the FXR22, 10.8 inches. So not a whole lot of difference in the ground clearance, but you still get a little more ground clearance. All right, so now the wheelbase. Here's a big difference. On the Pro FXLE, the wheelbase, 92.3 inches. All right, on this model, the FXR, 79.7 inches. All right. Big difference here. Now here's another big difference, the weight. On the Pro FXR, this one right here, the weight, 1,768.4 pounds. On the Pro FXLE, 1,832.4 pounds. So there's a difference there. Now they both can tow the same, 2,000 pounds, all right? But now here's another difference. All the mules that we've tested so far come with the Duro Frontier tires. This one also comes with Duros, but it comes with the Duro Power Grip 2 tire, which is a more aggressive tire. So here's the difference in sizes. On the Pro FXLE, the red one that we tested, the tires on that one are 26 by 9 by 12 on the front and a 26 by 11 by 12 on the rear. On the Pro FXR, we have a 27 by 9 by 12 on the front and a 27 by 11 by 12 on the rear. So that is what's giving you a little more ground clearance right there. All right, you guys, so here it is. 2022 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXR, and this one has the EPS, the electronic power steering. All right, so first of all, the MSRP on this unit is $15,999, so $16,000. So first of all, let's start out with the tires. I want to show you guys the difference on these tires. So these are the Duro Power Grip 2s. And if you compare these with the Frontier, you can see the difference in here. Look at the lugs. Deeper lugs, they're spread further apart. So these tires should do a lot better in the mud, in the sand, in the snow. Just a more aggressive tire and of course you've got more ground clearance because it is a taller tire so first thing you're going to notice just like the fx just like the fxt basically pretty much the same it has a tilt bed like you can see we got the bed up already but what's really good about this shorter wheelbase less weight okay but it has the same sweet power plant right there that 812 cc three cylinder motor so this baby I, I gotta tell you i can't wait to get to get this thing out on the trail and just see how quick it is you know compared to the the fx model and the fxt it should be a lot quicker because it's a lot lighter all right now here's something else about this one let's drop the bed down okay so you can see the bed is a lot shorter, okay? So you can't carry, of course, as much in this one as you can in the FX model because it's just as wide, but it's not as short, you see. It's not as, uh, I'm sorry, it's not as long, but you still got a nice bed. You still have the headache rack right here. And of course, it has the same tailgate 
that comes down like this. You can sit on this. You've got a cup holder here, a cup holder here, and also you've got that nice two inch receiver right there. And remember, you can, you can tow up to 2,000 pounds on this, which is really nice. And you also have four wheel disc brakes on this unit also. All right, so while we're on the outside, let's take a look at the front. Pretty much the same as all the FX models. All right, underneath here, we'll go ahead and open this up just in case some of you guys haven't seen any of the other videos with the uh, FXT and the FX. When you open this, pop it up, all right? Basically what you have in here is you have your radiator, you have your overflow, and you also have some fuses tucked behind there. Not too much going on under here, okay? Now this one comes with a top, your plastic top right here, has a front bumper, and all the FX LE models, the FXR, the FX T LE models, like the, the one we did was the, uh, the Ranch Edition Platinum top of the line, they all come with four headlights. So you've got one halogen and you've got one LE LED light. So we go right up here, we can turn those on, turn the key, okay, and you get a good look at the difference between the LEDs and the halogen lights right there. Just to give you a good look at that. <clears throat> and then let's go to the back. And you can see your back tail lights there also. All right. So why don't we go ahead and hop in the cab. That's another thing that I like about the Kawasaki mules is they're really easy to get in and out of. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn these lights off. Okay, so on all the Kawasaki mules, you have your two-wheel drive and you have your four-wheel drive and you have your rear differential lock. So basically what this is, is it's like a turf mode. When you unlock your rear differential, you just have one wheel that's pushing you. So when you're turning, if you're out on a golf course or if you're on you know, your property, you've got lawn or whatever, nice lawn, you, you don't want to tear it up, you're out there working. When it turns, it's not going to dig in and grip as much as when you lock that rear differential. But when you're out on the trail, trail you can lock that differential and put it in four-wheel drive, but you don't have a front locking differential. So basically what you have is you have two wheels that are pushing you forward and one wheel that is pulling you forward. Now, you might think, well, that's not a true four-wheel drive system because you can't lock the differential. But let me tell you, even though you can't lock that front differential, these babies do really good out on the trail. And I think this one's going to do uh, just as good. This is for your seat belt here. You've got neutral. You've got reverse. Park, which it's in right now, this is just showing for your your water or your oil it just flashes like that you've got cvt if it if it uh, gets hot and these belts never get hot your check engine light right there uh, electronic power steering and right here you have your two-wheel drive which you can see right now it is in two-wheel drive if we go to switch it into four-wheel drive okay now you see all four tires are lit up right there on the dash so that lets you know that you're in four-wheel drive You've got your fuel gauge over here, and of course, your speedometer right here. You've got a clock and hour meter, and you can go through here and change the trip mode and change your clock. All right, pretty basic. All right, so now let's take this back, put it in a two-wheel drive. There we go. All right, so once again, I always rave about these, and I always am. I'm going to continue to do it. Emergency brake or parking brake let's just put it that way so when you put this in neutral you don't have a park 
but you put it in neutral, pull in your parking brake, and this helps so much when you're out on the trail. There's so many times when you're out riding, and I know when I am, if you're on a trail and you park, and there's an incline or a decline, if you don't have a parking brake and you put your unit into park without a parking brake, just like on my Arctic Cat, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again, when you get ready to take off, all that weight is on the transmission. And when you go to put it into gear, sometimes it's almost impossible to get that unit back into gear. Whereas when you have a parking brake, it takes the weight, <coughs> excuse me, it takes the weight off of the transmission and you can put it into gear so nice and easy. All right, let's turn that key off. So right here, we've got two power outlets right here. Okay, open up the glove box. Here's your glove box, a little dirty in there right now. All right, you got a cubby hole there, cup holder right there, another cubby hole there, cubby hole there, and of course, you have tilt steering also. All right, so let's step back out. You've got your seat belts here. Now, another thing that's, that's, uh, that's really good to know about these, if you take off on your unit and you don't have your seat belt on, it's not going to give you very much power. It's going to start sputtering, letting you know, hey, you need to put that seat belt on. So that's just a safety thing that Kawasaki does. Okay, so to remove the seat, basically you have just a rubber grommet there and on the other side, and you just, just pop it off. seat comes off like that it's got these little straps just to kind of I guess to keep it from going anywhere but when you take a look once again you can see just how beefy everything is on the Kawasaki just take a look at the drive shaft right there Isn't that something right there you've got your fuel tank right over here you've got a storage compartment pop that lid off there you go Got nice amount of storage right there. All right. So as we go around, we already showed you guys the tilt bed on it. And when you come over to this side, okay, this is the access right here to your air filter and to your battery. So basically what you're gonna do is you tilt your bed up just like that. Okay, and you go over here, it's just like all the other FX models, the FXT is the same way. You just pop that latch, just like that, and you pull this off, okay. and there's your battery right there, and your air filter is right here. All right, yeah, there's your fuel fill right there, of course, because the tank is there, and basically, that's just about it for a walk around on the 2022 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXR. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Stay tuned. We will have a full, like I said, ride and review on this coming up soon this month. We're going to take this baby out. We're going to take it down. Ugly Betty, up Ugly Betty. You guys who've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. And there's a lot more trails. We're going to take this on and see just how trail worthy it is. I'm Kerry Clark for Outdoor Madness. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we will see you soon on another episode of Outdoor Madness. <laughs>